Hey everybody, it's Nerf Boy Productions here. Welcome back to my unboxing and review of the Nerf Zombie Strike Rip Shot. So this bad boy here is the Rip Shot. Alright, so let's take a look at the box. So, as you can see, it's like open face, so that means children have touched your blaster or whatnot. Doesn't really matter. Um, anyway, it's got three discs right here. Just right there, and you can see them. Okay? And then we have a little cool cartoon picture of a guy shooting the Rip Shot. That's all very cool. Fast firing disc blasting. Yeah, and then take a look at the back. We've got some, some nifty stuff going on here. So over here it says the mission. Can you can read that? Dun, dun, dun. And that's to say it mission fast strike attacks, target zombies when you least expect them, location stores your rating for supplies, blueprints for the rip shot blaster, style discs, function quick fire, results hit them quick and retreat fast. So that's all right to there. Very good. All right. Now, uh, it also says check out the free Nerf Zombie app at Nerf.com. Which is all right there. Okay. Available in the App Store and Google Play. Uh, and then it's got the cool blueprint right there. So, <clears throat> let's take a look. This. Now we've taken a look at the box. Let's go ahead and open this. we got a piece of tape on the side. Just cut that. Take a piece of tape on the other side, just cut that. Got a piece of tape on the bottom, just cut that. And we might be good to go. Looking snazzy. Yes, so here's how it's gonna go. If you wanna open this delicately, the blaster in the box. Da, 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 da. Okay, so now we've got three twist ties, which I will just simply undo. So, uh, it's these nice cardboard twist ties, which I love. They give you little cardboard frames, and you just kind of, they just wrap the twist ties around the cardboard slots, or slits, I guess, whatever. And, uh, really easy to take them apart, which is really nice. Or, if you're, you know, impatient, you just take scissors and cut it right out of the front of the packaging because ain't nobody got time for that, right? So, we, uh, you know, take a little snip to the to the old twist ties. Ah, and it's free from the bindings. Now, as far as instruction booklets go, I see none. So, uh, but it should be pretty self-explanatory. Um, we've got discs on the front, which... You just simply rip out. So here's our three discs. It's got a, you just kind of take them out of their little slots here. We got three discs. Glorious. Now, taking a look at the rip shot. So the rip shot is pretty cool. It's got the Nerf Zombie Strike logo on both sides. It's got a cool little, uh, not dart, but disc holder in the front. Uh, something I noticed about the fuse fire. Let me grab it, hold on. Uh, yes. When you load the fuse fire with the disc storage compartment in the front, it tends to kind of chew the sides of the uh, disc. It doesn't exactly want to fit it. And it kind of scrapes it up a bit, or scuffs it up. This one fits it really nice. And there's a nice like spread in between the discs so you can pull them out uh, quite fast, really. All right, uh, and also the discs have a little rivet in the bottom, so that makes it easy to pull them out because you can put your thumb underneath and, uh, excuse me, kind of scoop them out. Now, uh, this little thing here, when you push that forward, so that's gonna de-jam your gun, so you don't really need to touch this orange button much. But uh, the way you load this bad boy, so you take a dart or a disc and you just push it in the front till it won't push no more. And then cock it back, and it's kind of like the, I believe it's the ricochet, yeah, the ricochet, when you uh, you push it in and pull back, it's the same mechanism as the ricochet. It's kind of like a the big brother of the ricochet, exactly. Uh, it shoots the same way, it's just a little bit bigger. Um, so, demonstrating. Right? And it's got that little ricochet stuff we all know and love, and this is called the rip shot. And then once you've shot it, Push it back forwards, you're loading another disc, and you're good to go. 
Um, now, as far as safeties go on this gun, there's no safeties, but, you know, whatever. It's got this cool bar at the bottom, which, you know, you can kind of hold a gangster like Maybe hold it, like, over your shoulder. Just be like, I, I don't even know why they have this, but they do. Make it a little, like a box. M looks kind of like a plasma gun, especially if you shoot it sideways with these things. It's like, Doo. Um, I don't know. My mind flies. Anyway, so we got Nerf logo right there. Very cool. Uh, it's not plastering Nerf all over. It's more advertising the Zombie Strike stuff. We got the very cool Zombie Strike logo right there, as well as the Rip Shot logo. And uh, that's just on the one side. So, I mean, it's on the other side, but it's just kind of plastic. So, you can see right there, that's plastic. And then on this other side, it's the painted. So, on the right, you've got all the graphics. And on the left, not as much. If you're a right-handed user, everyone's going to see the big, beautiful logos. So, that's all very dandy. Now, the handle is actually quite comfortable, uh, really. Trigger pull is very good. And I'm just going to take a look at loading it one more time just to see how that's like. Um, loading it. Pretty simple. Okay, so uh, that is all very nifty. So what happens when you try and load it in with this pulled back? Like if I, like here we have a disc, okay, and if I stick this in the gun and then load it forwards, it's not gonna load. So you gotta make sure that's loaded forwards. Now if we have a disc in there and you wanna get it out, this button here, push that forwards, it's gonna fall right out, okay? So that's another thing. What happens is when you uh, push in the disc, just like so, okay, hold on, pushing the disc like that, uh, what's going to happen is it's just going to stick there, and then you pull it back, okay, now see how it drew it back into its chamber, pushing that button forwards, uh, hopefully, the disc should come back out, that's what it was designed to do, oh, apparently not. So when you uh, will use this little orange button on top is when you have the disc pushed in there and before you prime it back, if you put, like you can see, it's not going to fall out, but you know, but if you push this orange thing forwards, the disc will fall out and it's not a full shot. All right. So that's essentially it for the rip shot, but we're going to do a little demo shot. So we've got uh, down here. Schwa. All right, we're primed and ready to go. Okay, let's take another shot. Let's see how far this will go. Let's go look. Let's shoot another one, cause we can't. We're gonna do a Call of Duty style shot. Or not Call of Duty, but first person shooter, you know? Load it. Reload. Dang it. It's really hard to do this when I'm holding the camera, but let's go see where the other one Yes, I'm searching for the Went right to the wall. Went all the way. It went pretty far. So that is the rip shot. Uh, by Nerf. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, this was Nerf Boy Productions, signing off.